हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल द टॉपिक दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे इज प्रेसिपिटेशन रिएक्शन इट इज़ अ टाइप ऑफ एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी इंटरेक्शन इफ यू ऑल वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिटेल्स ऑफ एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी इंटरेक्शन प्लीज गो थ्रू द वीडियो ऑफ इट विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल I have also mentioned the link of the video in the description. It will help you to understand this topic better. In this video, I am going to discuss two things about precipitation reaction. First, a short introduction to precipitation reaction and second, what is precipitin curve. Now let us all understand what is precipitation reactions. If you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads precipitation reactions antibody and soluble antigen interacting in aqueous solution form a lattice that eventually develops into a visible precipitate antibodies that aggregate soluble antigens are called precipitins Although formation of the soluble antigen antibody complex occurs within minutes formation of the visible precipitate occurs more slowly and often takes a day or two to reach completion formation of an antigen antibody lattice depends on the valency of both the antibody and the antigen the antibody must be bivalent a precipitate will not form with monovalent fab fragments that is antigen binding fragments the antigen must be either bivalent or polyvalent that is it must have at least two copies of the same epitope or have different that react with different antibodies present in polyclonal antisera that is antiserum now let us understand precipitin curve precipitation reactions in fluids yield a precipitin curve a quantitative precipitation reaction can be performed by placing a constant amount of antibody in a series of tubes and adding increasing amount of antigen to the tubes after the precipitate forms each tube is centrifuge to pellet the precipitate is measured plotting the amount of precipitate against increasing antigen concentrations yield a precipitin curve as the figure shows excess of either antibody or antigen interferes with maximal precipitation which occurs in the so called equivalence zone within which the ratio of antibody to antigen is optimal as a large multimolecular lattice is formed at equivalence the complex increases in size and precipitates out of solution under condition of antibody excess or antigen excess extensive lattices do not form and precipitation reaction is seldom used experimentally today the principles of antigen excess antibody excess and equivalence apply to many antigen antibody reaction serological screening test for syphilis serological identification of various pathogens identification of blood or seminal fluid in stain on clothing for medico legal purposes and detection of the adulteration of foods are some of the application of precipitin tests